Hey, Jason Moss here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to embed a Google 360 tour on your website, okay, for your customers to view. Um, it's pretty simple, so take a look. The first thing you're want, gonna to wanna to do is go to Google and just search your business, okay? For this example, we're gonna be using a Sub-Zero uh, showroom that's out, up in Chicago. This isn't one of my clients or anything, it's just an example, okay? So once you do the Google search, a lot of times on the right-hand side, you will have the Google My Business knowledge panel show up, okay? Now this is what you don't wanna do, okay? You don't wanna click on See Photos and come over to this area, okay? Um, because if you're looking here, like this is a 360 photo right here, you'll see at the top, there's no there, there's no options there's no share options there's no embed options you can't right click or anything to get other options um, what you're looking for is three little dots up here next to this name okay so what you have to do is this all right come back to that search page all right your normal google search page you're going to want to click on maps okay we have to go over to the maps section of google all right so when you do that, you're going to have the knowledge panel come up over here, all right? And now once you're in this area, you just scroll on down to their photo section, okay? You can click on one of the 360 photos or just click on photos here, all right? And when this pops up here, this little icon in the bottom left of photos means it's a 360 photo. You can also click on this area, 360 view. Now the first photo that you want to show up on your website like uh, the beginning of the tour is the one that you want to find on here okay now I haven't gone through this entire tour I don't know which one is the beginning of the tour so that's really up to you uh, to find but let's just choose this one here okay so we're on this photo and at the top left here you will notice that now we have those three dots. We have options here. So when you click it, you have options for print, report a problem, or share or embed image. And that is exactly what we want to do. We want to embed this image. So we click on that, um, click on embed a map. All right, we have this pop up, and then we have our source code. All right, well, you can click on copy HTML or just right click copy, however you want to do it. Just copy it. All right. Now you go over to your website, okay? And this is just an example website that I'm just playing around with, all right? But we're gonna embed it on this page here. So, and, and I use WordPress, you might use something else. It, it's kind of all the same process. We just need to embed that HTML on that page. So I'm gonna just drop it right here in the, the text area, not the visual side if you're using WordPress, you wanna use it on the text side. Drop it in, paste, there's our code, and that's how it's gonna render. So if we go back, let's update this, and go and look at this page here. Now, the tour is embedded on this web page. okay? Very simple, and this is the starting page, and since this tour was made, the only pictures that are gonna be available inside this embedded object are those tour pictures. So as you go through the tour, everything works, everything is beautiful. You can even make it full screen. I mean, this is all hosted by Google, so it's not slowing down your website or anything like that. Everything works like it should, all right? So very, very simple. Um, if you wanna you know, play around with this, of course, you know, the size of it, um, you can go back to like that, the code, and you can just simply change the width and the height of it, you know, and play around with it, make it as big or as small as you want. Um, but yeah, it's just like embedding um, any other map that you might embed or a YouTube embed code or anything like that. It's, it's very, very simple. Just make sure when you're doing it, go over to the maps section so you can get those three dots to get that embed code. But I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions about it, leave a comment below. I'm happy to help. Thanks.